just about ready to roll here. And today on the hill, Marco Gonzalez. For a pitch guy, he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order, and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. Rip to third and caught. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Now this is in the air down the line. Joe getting an angle on it, and that is that. On to the bottom. Back here in Pittsburgh, today's starting pitcher, Reese Olsen. Well, he's not a rookie, but still very young in this game, learning his craft. I think the key is getting consistent reps and the opportunity to develop his stuff. Looking forward to watching him pitch in this one. O'Neill Cruz leading things off and takes a strike. Well, I'll always remember how Cruz left his mark on Major League Baseball in his debut. Three innings into his first game, he had the hardest throw by any infielder in baseball, the hardest hit ball all season by a pirate, and the fastest sprint speed by a pirate. This guy does it all. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Now oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base paths, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Next offering is in for a strike. Yeah. And a swing and a miss. Clearly was sitting One on ball, a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. And down on strikes he goes. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first, two away. Well, there appears to be no problem settling in on the mound out there today. It looks pretty tough to start this one. Watch out the first two hitters of this ball game, and somebody's going to have to put the bat on the ball, put it in play, and get something going. Now batting nope. key Brian ball. Hayes. One ball, no strike. Kicks and deals. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. And now the center fielder, Jack Sawinski. That yeah, one's one. in there, and it's 0-1. Fouled off. He was late. Two outs. Foul ball still 0 and 2. The pitch. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Drifts towards it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. So the buck. Back here at PNC Park. And now the DH, Kerry Carpenter. The pitch. Line drive. Oh, nice swing and good solid contact. I thought it was smoke, but needed a little more lift to get into the outfield gap. Yeah, maybe a little more backspin. Rip, but it curls foul. Rips that one to right. Hauls it in for the out. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. 
He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Right. Colt Heath now in the box. Oh, comes one. up empty with a swing there. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Sawinski under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that'll do. And welcome back to the ballpark. Well, well, Bottom well, of the well, second at the well, plate well, for Pittsburgh. Well, Connor well, Joe. Olsen no. back to work. Oh, he That's doesn't get the call. And it's one to know. One to know. Fires trying to tighten things up a little bit. And that one fouled off. And the righty deals. And a count one and two. In the air to left down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. That one is absolutely belted. One hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here's Rowdy Telez. That's a strike. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on that. Strike two. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end, trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front, so off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. One and two. And batter waits. Right. And a swing and a miss. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. I don't think he was waiting on the changeup right there, and he got it. It just drifted too far in on him. I think that pitch is just a little more out over the plate. Probably squares it up, but instead, he's going to have to go take a seat. And now, Edward Olivares. No, that missed. That's the ball. Close, but call the ball. 1 0. Oh. Go ahead, run at second. Bottom half of inning number two. Ground ball right side. Steps on first for the out. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. And it goes just foul. Wow, that was about as close as it gets to giving them the lead late in this game. Just barely on the foul side of that painted line. Right into the plate. And now oh. it's even up. One and one. No score here in the second. <laughs> and a swing and a miss there. Really what a consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. On the ground, right side. Throw on to Torkelson, gets him easily, ends the inning. So one left for Pittsburgh. We'll move to the third with no score. Now into the ball game on defense, Andrew McCutcheon. He takes over and right. Jared Jones into the game. This is his third time out this year. Gior Shella to the play. And the pitch. Hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff now. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Jake Rogers digs in now. Substitution now at first base. On to pinch run, Matt Veerling. 
you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. That one ripped, but foul. With the go-ahead run at first, we're here in the top half of inning number three. Here's a rocket to right field. Brings it in, and there's one down. Javi Baez digs in right side. In the air, right field. Grabs it on the run. Two down. And here's the Tiger leadoff man, Andy Abanez. That one the other way. Base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now the go-ahead runs in scoring position, so big opportunity and for them right. to jump ahead late. Green can't hold up, and that's strike. a strike. Bounce to third. Makes a sliding stop. And very nicely done for the out. Tigers strand a pair. Now into the game, Matt Veerling. He's the new third baseman. Now, Henry Davis. And a pitch. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. That's down and in. On the ground to third. Slings it across. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the now air. Now. Let's the defense work behind him with another oh, ground ball. Good execution. Yeah. Swings through it for strike one. No ball. You know, that's one a swing strike. you'll see a lot against a good sinker. Just right over the top. Tough to barrel that up. Strike swing two. and a miss. Trying to keep no good speed off the bases. The wind and the pitch. The shortstop the takes the ball. And misses. It's a strikeout. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the changeup and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. And that one wrapped foul. Righty delivers. That misses That's the, the ball. zone. Ball one. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. The pitch. That no, one that just hits, misses. The ball. Well, as a pitcher, when you make a big pitch down around the knees and don't get the call, it'll lead at you out there. So some handle it a little bit better than others. And right here, clearly letting the ump hear it a little bit. And another go, ball. Go. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Brown ball to the right side. He'll do it himself. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. Nothing. And we're back. Leading off, Spencer Torkelson. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Bounced up the middle. And they tag him out. Applies the tag, and they get two. 
double play. Definitely a weird play right there, and it changes the outlook of the inning completely. Nice job by the defense to take advantage and get two outs out of it, but on the flip side, I have to think they're going to have some discussions and probably some lessons learned about the base running decisions that were made. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Kerry Carpenter. And that is in for a strike. Going along. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. In the air, left field. Olivares right there to make the grab. And ready to go. Bottom four. four up, up, up. At the plate for Pittsburgh. Third Keep Ryan right. Hayes. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over. The pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. The next That's pitch the misses, and the count is one and one. One and one. Swings through that one out in front that time. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that Andrew Chafin enters the game. This is his fifth appearance of the year. Next to hit, Jack Sawinski. That one finds the zone. Going one. On the ground, right side. And he picks it up in foul territory. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. Entered the game as a pinch runner. First plate appearance for him here. Oh, he no, doesn't get the call. Ball one. Just oh, missed. That's low. That's, that's the ball. a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. And a pitch. Yeah. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, ball. boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Rowdy Telez up next. At the belt and fires. Fouls one away, and now three and two. And he deals. He walked in, and that will keep things going. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Telez stands in here, takes ball one well low. Off the mark there. Now 2-0. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out on the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. That one hooked foul. Two-two now. Battling here as he fouls it away. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's Mark Hanna. Mark Hanna. Jones back to work. Extra innings certainly had a different feel starting in 2020. With a new one placing a runner on second to begin the inning. And that forced teams to... Line try, base hit. The throw home. Not in time. He beat it, and they've got the lead. Well, they didn't waste any time as they knock home the runner from second to get on the board. Huge for team confidence and how you approach the situation. Still have a guy on base, and now they'll try to have him. Colt Heath up now for the Tigers. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. And there he goes. And that one fouled off.
kicks and fires. That smash towards center. Zielinski makes the grab. One down. And next to him for Detroit, Matt Beerly came into the game as a pinch runner. This is his first trip to the plate in this one. That one misses, ball, no strike. And that is ball one. And there's a rocket into the outfield. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. And here is Jake Rogers. It's softly on the ground that's left foul. side. And that's just foul. Right-hander kicks deals. In hard, that gets through. Around third. He'll score, and they take a two-run lead. Back-to-back -back singles. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just... Martin Perez gets the ball now. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Now it's Javier Baez. And a foul ball. Base hit. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He scores. It's three zip. Comes through with the RBI. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. So the lineup flips over, digging in. Andy Abanez, one for two. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Here's Riley Green. Now, now, now. The center the center field. Field. Riley, Riley Green. Green. This one high in the air to left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. Last half of the... Back here in Pittsburgh, bottom of the inning. Now the left fielder, Edward Olivares. New pitcher for the Tigers, Shelby Miller. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Right. That's in there. These fans, oh they are ready to cheer about something. Next ball. offering misses, and it's a ball to strike. And the right hander deals. That one fouled off. Here's a one two. Fights it off, you'll see another. The one two and another oh. ball. Right side. Keith whips it to first on the run. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. The batter number 19. Second baseman. Now it's the second baseman. Three hold on. On the ground to first. And he handles oh. it himself for the out. Now, now Henry, Henry Davis, Davis. Henry. the next pirate to hit. Got a throw back. No batting gloves. Just oh. missed. Next pitch is oh. outside. That, that one hit, just missed off the outside edge. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run and the on-deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. 
That catches the zone for a strike. And now three and one. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Down is full. The Pirates down to their final strike. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that is the ball game. Nice work out of the bullpen for that first MLB win, Boog. They turned to him when they didn't have the lead. He kept things steady, and he's rewarded with the W. A shutout in this one. 3-0 our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.